Let's take a look at how to increase our productivity. Well, in order to look at increasing our productivity, we need to first discover what is the opposite of productivity. Can anyone guess the opposite of productivity? That's right, distractions. I cannot tell you how many times my phone goes off with the little games my kids download, the apps on my phone that I don't even know about, and uh, I get these notifications, sometimes in the middle of the night. Your cat is ready to be fed. Well, the opposite of productivity is distractions. So let's take a look at the three things we can do to increase our productivity. Number one, eliminate distractions. Turn off all your notifications. Did you know that according to the business of apps, the average person gets 46 push notifications per day. 46, and you know the brain only can take in so many decisions that it has to make. Once it reaches so many decisions for the day, it just shuts off. It's like, I'm done, can't do it anymore. And so if you have a job or a business where you need to make important decisions, Let's make sure we reduce the number of notifications that come in so you could be most effective at your job. You don't want the person who's operating on your brain have too many push notifications come in that morning. We also need to unlearn the habit of checking our phones constantly. According to the uh, reviews.org, 262 times per day, people check their phone. 262 times per day. That's once every five minutes. That's 20 times per hour. Can you imagine being in a business meeting? And, you know, we all do it. I know I'm guilty of it. Check the phone every five minutes. 20 times per hour in the business meeting. That's, that's rude, right? But at the same time, we all do it. We do it. So we need to unlearn the habit of checking our phone because there's, there's nothing there. <laughs> I mean, unless you're waiting for an important phone call or something, there's nothing there. So turn off your notifications. Don't check the text message. My text messages are now like my email inbox and I get at least 100 emails a day. And my text messages are now starting to turn into that. So unlearn the habit of checking those things. Maybe even set specific times a day that you're gonna check those things. So let's just say you check your text messages at uh, 10 a.m. after you've done your most important income producing work for the day, you check it at 10, then again, maybe at 12 and two o'clock and then before you turn off the day. And that way you're still responding, but what is our email inbox and now our text message inbox? It's just an inbox of other people's wishes or other people's requests for us to do for them. It wasn't something that we created. It wasn't something that we um, initiated. Unless we're specifically looking for a message from somebody to respond to you about something that you're requesting, the best thing to do if in that case is to just turn it on and have the discipline of just looking for that one person's message and then not, you know, resisting the temptation to not read all the other messages and look at all the other messages that are coming in um, from other people. Number two, how to increase your productivity is to carry around a day planner. Carry around a planner. So that way when a thought comes into your mind, instead of doing that task right away, and I'm guilty of that all the time, I'll, I'll be in the middle of like making calls, for example, but then I'll have a thought like, oh, I need to post that Zoom replay link on the website. And I'll start to do it and then I'll end up going down the rabbit hole because all of a sudden I'll see a message pop up from a friend instant messaging me on Facebook that I have to see what that's about and have to reply to at that moment. And all of a sudden I find myself down the rabbit hole. Well, if I was supposed to be focused on making calls for that one hour, well, what I need to do is just write it down in my day planner. 
Every time a thought comes to mind, every time a task comes to mind, we're so used to just doing it instantly because we have our phones with us all the time, but that distracts us from the thing that is most important for us to uh, achieve our goal or get the initial task done. So write it down and then schedule time to do it later. Number three, how to increase your productivity is to time block. Time block. Time block your income producing activity. Time block the the play dates with your kids and the, the date nights with your spouse. Time block everything so it all has a place to get done. And if you can do your income producing activity first thing in the morning before you start checking your messages, which again is just requests of other people asking you to do things for them. And then all of a sudden half the day goes by and you're like, I didn't do what I needed to do. I didn't do anything for me. I didn't take that walk or, you know, read my Bible. I didn't get a chance to meditate. I didn't get a chance to journal. I didn't get a chance to do my outgoing calls. And instead of feeling frustrated because you time blocked your income producing, your highest income producing activity to be first in the day before you checked your messages and notifications, you feel so much better that you took care of your needs. Because there's a saying, put your mask on first before you put on someone else's in the airplane. And I know it sounds sometimes like selfish, like, well, that's being selfish, not taking care of others' needs. But if I'm depleted and my needs are not met, I'm no good to anybody else. So time block and stick to it. Stick to it. All right. Actually, I'm going to throw in one bonus. One bonus nugget on how to increase productivity, and that's to plan for tomorrow before it begins. I had an amazing business success coach named David Bird who always taught Liz before tomorrow begins, always plan for tomorrow before it begins. So at the end of your work day, not at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, you're too tired, right? And you want to relax and spend time with the family. But at the end of your work day, Make sure you take a look at what are the highest income producing activities you could be doing tomorrow. What are the most important things you could be doing tomorrow? And as it relates to the week or your schedule, looking at the month at a a glance. And so that way you could wake up and hit the ground running and distractions won't get in your way because you understood going to bed before tomorrow began what you had on the docket was the most important thing for you to accomplish that next day. All right, let's go out and make it a great day, everybody.